Welcome to our lecture online. Here again we're going to take a look at the relationship between torque and angular acceleration and we're going to do it for an old problem in a very interesting way. We're going to take another look at the yo-yo. Notice the yo-yo can be considered a solid disc. We have a string wrapped around it. The, the yo-yo has certain mass m, certain radius r. The tension in the string is t and of course the angular acceleration is the symbol alpha. And notice if it's a solid disk, the moment of inertia is one half mr squared. So what is the acceleration of that yo-yo? So we use the torque equals i times alpha. The torque is going to be the tension of the string times the perpendicular distance r, which is equal to the moment of inertia times a over r, which is the equivalent for the angular acceleration converted to the linear acceleration. Notice that R's cancel out, so we have the tension equals one half ma, and the tension of course has to be mg minus ma since the object is accelerating downward. And we solve for a, we get two thirds g. Now what happens if we now move the moment of inertia point of rotation to b instead of the center of mass? So what we're going to say is, using the parallel axis theorem, we're going to say that i of b, the moment of inertia relative to b, so now the disk is going to rotate about point b, is the moment of inertia to center mass plus md squared, of course d is the radius of the disk, and we get a new moment of inertia relative to point b of 3 halves mr squared, and we do the same process, the torque equals i alpha, but now the torque is caused by the weight of the disk, not by the tension in the string, the weight of the disk will cause it to rot rotate about b, so that's mg, which is the weight of the disk times r, Take, that gives you the torque, equals the moment of inertia, which is now the moment of inertia at point B, times A over R, again this is the equivalent of the angular acceleration. The R's cancels, the M cancels just as before, and when we solve for A we get the exact same result. Of course we expect the same result, but you can see again a good example of using the yo-yo with the traditional method of solving for the acceleration to the yo-yo with the non-traditional method by moving the point of rotation at the edge of the yo-yo and you end up with the exact same result using torque equals i times alpha. And that is how it's done.